What's going on, people? It's Timmy and Joe back, finally, for 2020. And you might ask, Timmy and Joe, you haven't been uploading. Where have you been? Uh, I took a break from you suckers, okay? I took a, a little break. It was my birthday yesterday. We just crossed over into a new decade. And I'm really old now. I thought I was turning 35, and I was kind of depressed about it. And then my wife reminded me I'm actually now 36 as of yesterday. I literally forgot how old I was. Um, that time, Pat. When, once you have a kid, man, time just goes crazy. And uh, you know what? Uh, since 2013, when I started this channel, wasn't exactly the same kind of channel back then. But I've uploaded 615 videos, over 20 million view, 21 million views, 21 in a million half views on this channel. And since I got serious about PC tech hardware around 2017, uh, before the launch of Ryzen, uh, I like. 500 and some videos. It's it's crazy. So thank y'all for watching me. Uh, but I was getting a little tired of doing a video like every other day, and uh, I, it's my job. I gotta get a pick back up uh, and just like put the blinders on and make it happen. So we're here. So I have a really weird Ryzen story here for you. A weird Ryzen right here. This is the original 3700X that I got on launch day with uh, well here. With, with, with the third, with the AMD. Thank you for sending this to me. Uh, but it's a Ryzen. It says not for resale on there. If it will focus, anyways. So yeah, this is the original 3700X I got on Zen 2 launch day, and um, I always wanted the 12 core, uh, like one would. But uh, it was really hard to get a hold of one for a while there, and uh, I did some hardware shuffling, and uh, this wound up just kind of sitting on the shelf. I had a, uh, another one too, a 3700X I got from MSI for building a computer. I, you know, I go through a lot of CPUs and stuff, but uh, someone eventually came up and wanted to buy a video editing system from me. So I was like, oh, I've got that 3700X and you know, I've got, I have two of them. I'll just grab one off the shelf. You know, I'll, I'll make them a computer and I know which one is which, you know, whatever. So I go and build a computer for someone and it's just giving me nothing but problems, like huge problems, when I never had any problems with this particular CPU at all before then. And that it was really weird. I kept thinking it was memory. Kept getting blue screens, basically. Could be when you turn the computer on, uh, had this motherboard in it, a B450 Gaming X. They didn't need some crazy gaming motherboard, they just needed a motherboard that would, uh, you know, had a, some M.2 slots on it, and you know, they, they weren't gonna do any overclocking. This isn't gonna be an overclocking computer. It was for video rendering for like a, a local company in town. So I, I build them a system with this CPU in it, and I send it off to them, and they just keep telling me it starts blue screening after a while, and I'm like, what is the problem? So, I'll show you what the problem was, well, what it looks like, anyways. Uh, I'm not going to use this motherboard because it's back with them, um, because I've since fixed the computer, but I obviously didn't fix the CPU. Uh, but I do have my uh, Gigabyte, which is important, X570 ARS Pro Wi-Fi that Gigabyte had provided uh, on launch day or around launch day or whatever. And it's on the test bench. I'm going to go ahead and plug my original 3700X in on it. And I should be able to show you what's what's going on pretty quick. So uh, here, give me give me a second. Fucking hell. So the system's all booted up there, and we're into Windows. And I have Ida64 running, a stress test. Sorry, that's not going to be in focus. And uh, we can see there, you know, uh, over 4 gigahertz with the Wraith Spire cooler on there. And, I mean, it's doing it. And, I mean, we're getting temperatures up into the 72 on the package, but, like, that's within reason. And, you know, I could go ahead and, you know, check even stress system memory here, right? And I wouldn't have an issue. And I would do this on site with their computer. I would, uh, you know, they're saying they're getting blue screens. I would go and replace the RAM, and then I would run a gamut of tests, and the computer would never shut down at all, uh, you know, which is weird. You know, I was like, well, okay, well, what's wrong? So then, you know, I'd leave, and two weeks later, they'd be complaining of blue screens again. And I'm just like, what, rack of my brain, what the problem is. So 
Eventually, I got them to relinquish the computer over the Christmas break so I could get to the bottom of this. They were saying they couldn't even turn the computer on without it blue screening within a couple of minutes. They were having, they were worried they were gonna lose like data, uh, you know, and I was worried that it wasn't the motherboard or CPU, but maybe it was like their M.2 driver, maybe the power supply, you know, all these things I bought brand new for their, their build, maybe those things were the issues. And as we see right now, we have no problems. It's booted up into Windows. It's running the CPU, FPU, cache, and system memory stress test in Ida64. And I mean, it's staying above four, it's around 4.1 gigahertz on you know, all the cores. There's no issues here until they'll, they, there will be an issue. I'm hoping I'll get it on camera, but it should inevitably blue screen just doing nothing. Here, we'll, we'll stop the stress tests and uh, I'll just open up some web browsers. We'll see if we can get it to blue screen. Boom, blue screen. And it's page fault in non-paged area. That is very typical of what you would see while you were using this computer. And I just turned it on. It hasn't been three minutes and I got this random blue screen. So, you know, when you get this and you've troubleshooted the memory and then, you know, I get their computer in here and, uh, you know, I swap out the PSU just to make sure, get the same error. Swap out the hard drive, put a fresh install of Windows within, a, it actually wouldn't even install Windows, so I put uh, my, my uh, test bench hard drive in there and, you know, I, it will load into Windows, but inevitably we get the same errors. So, you know, it's not the M.2 drive, it's not the PSU, it's not the memory because I've tried a hundred of them. So it's either the motherboard or the CPU. You, you get it, you know, down to the, those two things, right? And then the, the weirdest thing is, okay, so I have them using this E450 Gaming X motherboard with the 3700X. And, you know, it's a fine motherboard for running at stock speeds on a video editing machine, but I was worried that the cheaping out on the motherboard, you know, this is, I think I got it for 120 bucks Canadian or something like that, that maybe I needed to go with a higher end solution. So, of course, this motherboard on the test bench, X570 ARS Pro Wi-Fi, designed for this computer, right? It would, uh, here, we'll see if we can get it to blue screen again. I don't even have a mouse. So it's, it's screwed, right? Can we get it to blue screen again? We'll just, we'll make, you know, we'll, we'll do the problem here. Blue screen instantly. Page fault in non-paged area again. This could switch up though. And here, I'll show you a few of the blue screens they were sending me on screen. So ultimately what I'm getting at, uh, well, here, let me show you. Here, one sec. Okay, so, just because I like to give examples, we saw the computer blue screen with the other motherboard, right, with the uh, B X570 on my test bench, okay? And uh, I've since given those guys, the, 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 uh, they're called Buzzmasters, there's some cool local videographers that do some uh, social media work and stuff like that. I built them a, a video editing computer. I've since replaced the eight core CPU and given them the computer back and it seems, Fingers crossed, like they won't be having any more issues with this B450 Gaming X. So we tested on Gigabyte motherboards, and we see the 3700X is now in a pretty budgetary bazooka motherboard. This is a gaming uh, system I'm building for somebody. Just happened to have a rise. It's going to have a 1600 in it. And we see it's running Ida64 with the Wraith uh, Spire cooler. It's at 83 degrees, a little toasty, but you know, whatever. And it's running a YouTube video. And uh, as we saw, we couldn't have the computer on for, you know, any more than a few minutes without it blue screening with a gigabyte motherboard. So you see what I'm getting at? That's an MSI board and it works just fine. When I got their computer in to troubleshoot, you know, after I'd done it on site a bunch of times and never came up with anything, I always thought it was a RAM issue. I swapped out RAM a whole bunch of times. I made sure the chipset driver was installed. I ran Ida64, you know, sometimes and it would run for like 30 minutes and I'd say, well, your computer looks fine. And then, you know, with the memory uh, system tests or uh, stress, on there as well. And then, you know, a week later, they'd be saying a blue screen like five times. I'd be like, what? 
So I finally say, you gotta give me the computer and I'll bring it home and I'll do some troubleshooting. And you know with troubleshooting, you just start switching parts out. So as soon as I got home with the computer, I took the 3700X and I swapped it into my everyday system running uh, MSI Meg uh, Ace motherboard. And uh, I took the 3900X and I put it in their system. And then both computers would work perfectly. So it's like, is the problem the CPU or is the problem the motherboard? Well, I can't tell because those two parts are working perfectly swapped out into other computers. So I, you know, checked the, replaced the power supply. Still had issues with the, you know, the, their proper setup. I, I, so then I grab this motherboard, which I had sitting around, put it on my test bench and it blue screens on this motherboard. So I'm like, okay, well, what is the problem here? So then I switch, grab another motherboard. I had um, an, an Asus uh, Strix B450F gaming or something like, anyways, swapped it into there, it wouldn't blue screen. So I swapped it back in to this motherboard and then it would blue screen. And then I, you know, swap it into this one and it doesn't. And then I tried an ASRock B450 uh, Pro 4 gaming and it wouldn't blue screen. So when my eventually came to the conclusion, the gremlin that I'd been chasing this whole time was that my pre, you know, uh, not for resale 3700X that I probably shouldn't have sold in the first place, but it was to buy a 3900X. So I wasn't just selling it for profit, underwear and then profit. I was, you know, looking to upgrade my shit and AMD didn't give me the 3900X at launch, so I wanted to get one and test it out. It just turned out that, that the CPU will not work with gigabyte motherboards only. Okay, well, at least the two that I've tried, but it'll work with every other motherboard. And yes, I tried updating the, uh, you know, the chipset driver, all of the drivers. I thought maybe that some piece of hardware just doesn't work with that CPU that's shared between these motherboards, but there's not a lot in common between these two motherboards, except for that they're both gigabyte as far as components. One's a hundred dollar motherboard and one's a $300 motherboard. They're completely different as far as, you know, most of the things go. So when it came down to it, my gremlin was gigabyte motherboard specifically, I think. I mean, I don't know. I, I, I obviously replaced their CPU. They're on their way. So now I'm back owning this bad penny of a 3700X. And I'm going to use it in another PC build. I've got, I want to update my HDPC. It's just a, an i7 quad core right now. I want to change it to this, I guess, and put a better video card because I got a 4K uh, TV now and I want to be able to run, you know, some computer games on the main TV at 4K. So I'll be doing an update video probably with all uh, deep, cool stuff, some really nice stuff uh, coming up in a couple of days with this. And then I'll get to test it on my HDPC and see if there's ever any issues with it. But as far as I can tell, if you put this 3700X in any other motherboard but a Gigabyte board, Asus, ASRock, MSI, it works flawlessly. So I shouldn't have any issues. But have you ever heard of that before? A CPU that won't work in one manufacturer's motherboard specifically, just the manufacturer, something they do building their motherboards doesn't agree with this specific CPU. And it happened gradually because I used to run this as my main system and I never really thought I was, ha I thought I had memory issues. I did get some blue screens here and there, but I mean, I used it as a, you know, my main video editing PC, this combo for like six months and didn't really have too many issues. I do remember like always bringing my RAM speed down a bit because I would get a blue screen and it seemed like all the blue screens that they got seemed like memory blue, blue screens. So maybe I was having the problem all along, but it was so intermittent at first that you, you just, you know, kind of blame it on maybe my RAM speeds a little bit too high. And then eventually it starts happening, you know, every couple days and then every day and then within five minutes of starting the computer. And then it becomes a really hard problem to troubleshoot because you would never think the CPU won't work with a specific motherboard manufacturer. Like not even, you know, that maybe it won't work with a cheap motherboard, but it'll work with an expensive, it's just gigabyte specifically. It worked in four other motherboards that weren't gigabyte motherboards, at least so far. So as we see, it's running the stress test, the memory stress test, the cache, the FPU, CPU, and it's playing a YouTube video. We've never seen it crash. That's my 3700X in a cheap motherboard, $80 motherboard in a little gaming system. I've run it for 24 hours in this system, playing YouTube videos and running stress tests and never had it blue screen once. But if it's on a gig gigabyte motherboard, here, I'll shut this all off. It will blue screen. So 
when it comes down to it, this video is just about showing you how frustrating troubleshooting computer stuff can be. And maybe someone else out there has had this same issue before. Like, I've had issues where, uh, you know, an Intel CPU won't work in one motherboard, but it'll work in another board. And I usually chalk that up to mounting pressure. Or, uh, you know, those are uh, LGA sockets. You know, they're a little finicky sometimes. But this is pin on grid. I don't, like, there's little pins. They're all fine. There's no thermal paste on the, the CPU. I cleaned it thoroughly. And it just won't work on... <laughs> gigabyte motherboards and that is the weirdest thing ever so what is your weirdest troubleshooting computer gremlin because this whole 3700x and gigabyte motherboard one it just it took anything that i dealt with in 2019 it's one of the most aggravating problems that i've ever had and i just wanted to share it with y'all before uh, you know, I started putting all this stuff away and using this CPU just so you know I'm having, you know, troubles. It's not always, you know, uh, smooth sailing when it comes to building PCs in Timmy Joe's world. I get problems too, but as far as a 3700X not working in a specific manufacturer of motherboard, that one takes the cake. It's so weird. So I'm not watching Timmy Joe Instagram and Twitter. I want to thank all of these patreon people that are flying up on the screen they help make the videos happen and uh it's 2020 now and i will be making videos on a regular basis from here on out so if you want to join the patreon crew you'll get your name up on here at the end of videos and uh yeah i want to thank you guys just so much for uh you know for watching my weird ass like 615 videos over 20 million views almost 130,000 subscribers it's going to be a great 2020. I want to get that up to like 200,000 subscribers by the end of the year. And uh, in the comments below, what is your weirdest computer problem? Weirdest troubleshooting problem you've ever had with computers? I want to read them in the comments below, but uh, I'm not watching me Joe Instagram and Twitter. And this has been a big rambling session about how one CPU is just racist against a certain manufacturer of motherboard. And racism... It's it's bad, you you bad CPU. Like freaking 20 hours of troubleshooting on this. I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. <gasps>